Module 3, Lesson 10, Objective, Multiply 3 and 4 digit numbers by 1 digit numbers applying the standard algorithm. Vocabulary for the day, let's say it together. Factor times factor equals product, partial product, standard algorithm, place value. Let's start out with our first problem of the day. 5 times 2,374. So first we start in our ones column. 5 times 4 ones will give me a product of 20. Next we move to our tens place. 5 times 7 tens will give me a product of 350 or 35 tens. Next we move to our hundreds place. 5 times 3 hundreds will give me a product of 1,500, or you could say 15 hundreds. And finally, we move to our thousands place. 5 times 2,000 will give me a product of 10,000. Now that we have our four partial products, I need to add those together in order to get my full product. So we start out in the ones place. And 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give me 0. Next, we move to our tens place. 2 plus 5 will give me a sum of 7. Then we move to our hundreds place. 3 plus 5 will give me a sum of 8. And then our thousands place, 1. And our ten thousands place, 1. So our final product is 11,870. Now let's solve this problem using the standard algorithm. So we have 5 1's times 4 1's, which will give me a product of 20. So you put your 0 in your 1's place and carry your 2 above your 10's place. Next we move to our 10's place. 5 times 7 10's equals 35, plus 2 would be 37. So you put your 7 in your 10's place and carry your 3 to your 100's place. Next, we multiply 5 times 3, which is 15, plus 3, which will give me 18. So you put your 8 in your 100's place and carry your 1 to your 1000's place. Finally, we multiply 5 times 2, which is 10, and then add 1, which will give me 11. You put your one in your thousands place, and you put your other one in your ten thousands place. Our final product is 11,870. Let's now compare our standard algorithm to our partial products algorithm. So we start out in our ones place. Five times four is 20. So you put your two and zero here, and that is 20. Next, we do our tens place. Seven tens times five ones would give me 35 tens which is 350 then we multiply our hundreds place 5 times 3 would give me 15 hundreds you have 15 hundreds and then our thousands place 5 times 2 is 10 so we have 10 thousands now let's take our partial products and put it into our place value chart so we know we have two tens, which would be represented here, and then we have 35 hundreds. So we put three hundreds and five tens and zero ones. And then we have 1,500. So you know that's 1,000 and five hundreds and zero for my tens and my ones. And finally, we have 10,000, so that shows that there's just one 10,000 and then zero for the rest. Add these together. 2 plus 5 gives me 7 or 7 tens or 70. And 3 plus 5 gives me 8 hundreds or 800. And 1,000 will give me 1,000. And 1 10,000 will give me 10,000. Add all these together and you arrive at 11,870. Now let's multiply 6 times 3,817. We start out in our ones place and multiply 6 
times 7, which will give me 42. So you put your 4 in your 10's place and put your 2 in your 1's place. Now let's multiply 6 times 1, which will give me 6, and then add 4, that is 10. Put your 1 in your 100's place and put your 0 in your 10's place. Next, move to your 100's. 6 times 8 would be 48 plus 1 will give me 49. So put your 4 in your 1000's place and your 9 in your 100's place. Next, let's move to our 1000th place. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 will give me 22. Put your 2 in your 1000's place and your other 2 in your 10,000's place. Our final product is 22,902. Finally, let's solve our real world problem. There are 5,280 feet in a mile. If Gavin ran four miles, how many feet did he run? We went ahead and circled our numbers, we boxed in what it's telling you to do, and we underlined the question. Now we're able to solve the problem. First I set up my problem, 5,280 times 4. Now let's use the standard algorithm to solve this problem. We start out in our 1's place, 4 times 0 will give me a product of 0. Next we move to our 10's place, 4 times 8 10's will give me a product of 32, or 32 hundreds. So we put our 3 above our hundreds and our 2 in our 10's place. Next we move to our 100's place, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 would give me 11. So we put our 1 in our 100's place and carry our other 1 to our 1000's place. Finally, we move to our 1000's place. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So we put our 1 in our 1000's place and our 2 in our 10,000's place. Our final product would be 21,120. Finally, don't forget to restate your question with the answer labeled. So if Gavin ran 4 miles, he would have run 21,120 feet.